All right, we have updated our flow restrictions in the water control assembly and in the hot water control valve. We used to have brass flow restrictors in the elbow fitting and the straight fitting, and now we have stainless steel set screw flow restrictors in the copper tubes that live on top of those fittings. To update your machine, you're gonna simply remove the brass flow restrictor from the fittings clean out the area to get any of the old blue Loctite out, and then install your new set screw flow restrictors in your copper tubes. To remove the brass flow restrictor, you're gonna use a 1 8 Allen wrench and simply remove. It should come out with a little resistance. We use blue Loctite, which means you shouldn't need any heat to remove. When you remove your brass flow restrictor, you want to make sure that you clean out the area and then you're ready to install your stainless steel flow restrictor into the copper tube that will land on this fitting. When installing the stainless steel flow restrictor, you're going to actually be creating the threads inside of the copper. They won't be there already. So it's a self-tapping stainless steel flow restrictor. And the biggest trick is making sure that you're parallel to the end of the tube when you start and then running it all the way in so there are no threads showing. With your stainless steel jet installed, you're going to want to make sure you mark the end that the jet is in, and this end has to land on the fitting that used to house your brass flow restrictor. So, excuse me, for the hot water control, it'll be here. For your water control assembly tube, it will be on the low side away from the bend and we'll live there.